And I mean, let's finally start with the Realm Breaker plan. It's been long overdue. Is this a Realm Breaker? I mean, we have it in the deck. We have to finally use it. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today the video will be a bit different from the structure, so bear with me, I will tell you exactly what's the difference. Uh, there's a new pet and I decided that after we watch some intro, uh, I will show you the animations and all this stuff, so maybe you can get some, you know, information before you buy it or not. Uh, you will see a lot of unranked games, however, you will also see a ladder experience, a full ladder experience with this deck. There were so many lists with the Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree, so I, I thought that maybe, maybe I messing out so I decided to go with Azorius with a full meal plan so we will go with Jace very perfected mind of course a huge meal card but with Realm Breaker theoretically it's great right because it has milling cards not only you get more lands but you also make your Jace minus two way better so I wanted to see if that is good enough to play standard in, you know, kind of high mythic. And yeah, uh, you will see your answer when you watch the video or at the end of this intro to not keep you waiting. So the rest of the deck is pretty greedy. I really wanted the version that kind of beats control. However, we are not giving up the aggro matchups. We have triple smites, double faithful absence, double reverie, four sunfalls and wandering emperor. And yeah, about the realm breaker. The question you wanted to know answer to, is this broken? Nah, it's definitely not broken. In my opinion, it's not strong card. I actually think the deck works better without the Realm Breaker, because uh, if you replace it with Celestus, you already most of the time get better deal. Of course it wins if your opponent doesn't do anything for 10 turns, but it also dies to Void and Farewell. You give them good targets for even a control deck, and you will see in some of the games we actually mill our opponent's memory Rouge, giving him value. And if we mill ourselves, that makes no sense, so we cannot. So, very clunky card, and when you see it against Agro, you will roll your eyes so maybe I'm still missing something about the card I probably won't be using it I think it's a cool card but meta is way too quick especially on ladder environment especially in mythic that's my honest opinion on this one tell me guys if you agree in the comments because I know you like the card I kind of like it too but it doesn't work very much and with the 10 sacrifice praetor no no, please, please don't, <laughs> please don't. I I have it. I had it done to me, all right. And I have a fond memory of eleven predators just hitting my face and me not having sweeper. But outside of this one situation, it's not very useful. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Tell me in the comments if you enjoyed this kind of testing. Is that card good enough? And tell me if you agree with this. Do you find uh, Realm Breaker good in your ladder games or not? For me, it just doesn't work because I mostly play more. So, I hope you will like the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate all the pain going into the ranking, and yeah, uh, let's go into action, thanks for watching guys. Alright, and finally, we managed to see a non-mono red deck, you needed to go unranked for it, oh boy, it, it's so funny because on some days I don't see any mono red, I mean like, not at all. Like even 10 games in a row, not a single monoret. And then I queue with a cool deck and it's like three monoret in a row. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are in extremely good situation right now. Uh, we can negate his play for the turn. This is, there is no easy answer to Jace for him right now. And when we, uh, you know, started using Emperor, uh, we can start doing cards with Jace. Invasion of Gobakan seems good, but it's not good. Uh, also, if he takes Emperor, we just smite. If he takes smite, we just Emperor. So he doesn't have good ways to go around it, which means that we can start doing cards potentially. Uh, the biggest advantage of this whole play is that he is like he's seen our hand. That's basically it. So let's start milling our opponent. We can also see the cards from Mondrak. So a token deck. I mean, let's keep the stuff, right? No Emperor. Of course he knows what we can play, but uh, I mean, we still get the cards. As long as we keep playing land to turn and getting into Sunfall, I think one is enough. My friend. Like, you are going a bit over the top with taxing of my stuff. And now we have double Elspeth Smite. Fightful Absence, perfect. That means he first cannot really attack anyway. 
Oh boy, he really wants it. He really wants it. I don't mind, I'm not in a hurry. Like, I'm a control deck, I can just take all the time in the world. And I mean, I hurt you like Jace. Can we mute him? Not, not really. I need to start getting this small card advantage. Edgar. Here's the Rainbreaker. Oh, it's very needed. <laughs> it's super needed. It's fine. And this one has ward. Scary. Scary. Let's keep drawing cards. Just keep drawing. Just keep drawing. Oh, that's a strong one. Did I play a land for the turn? I could just go for the Sunfall. Huh. Yeah, let's just keep up the mana. We need three for a smite. Uh, there are some targets for the stroke. Not many, but there are some. He's going for it. All right. So even though it has Vigilance, it's not the same as Emperor, right? So we can still kill it. And we did. All right, going one for one. Wedding announcement. Scary, but not the worst. We can absolutely absolutely take it. Let's draw the card. Yeah, we should be winning this one. Oh, especially with the Sunfall. Now we can start stacking Jace again. And at some point he will be at a lot of cards. You can be made to obey. I mean, I don't need to. Man, I don't need to play the Realm Breaker. I don't need to play it. As you can see, it's just, yeah, here. So we will Sunfall. Right now we want Silver Scrutiny because we really want to keep hitting lands. And it's better to pay 5 mana for 3 cards, which one of them will be a land, than for 1 card that will be a land. We could soon draw, but we can do it with other Jaces. Alright, 3 lands, I guess. Field of Ruin doesn't make a difference, so let's go with the Mirex. Alright, I think this is the Sun for turn, especially... I, I guess I could for a while. Alright, good call, good call. It makes our sun for... Uh, it's another creature. Yeah, so we will get a 1-1 one, one anyway. But good good play by him. He gets the scry. He gets some pumps. And yeah. We still get the board though. I don't have another Jace, so we'll play like this right now. And I could waste a Sunfall because I have Farewell anyway. And I think... Like, I didn't want to use it, for example, for this situation. Because then they play new and you kinda cannot answer it anymore. So I want more control over the game before we go for it. Alright, we negate one of the tokens. The second one will be blocked. And, I mean, let's finally start with the Realm Breaker plan. It's been long overdue. By the way, Emperor here in Exile Zone forever. Hmm. Interesting. I will go for it. Uh, it aligns mana very nicely with the Realm Breaker, right? Alright, he's going for some play, potentially. No. He wanted, but he didn't go for it. I think we could now for a while. I don't think he will be able to regain control over this game. Maybe he has something extremely strong. But drawing card a turn definitely won't work. And let's start milling so we can get those sweet cards. Uh, Shattered Sanctum. Alright. More mana. Uh, so he's a 3. It mills how much? 3 cards? This one mills 3 cards. So it's 19. <laughs> Not exactly what we want. But it's fine. So we will go with the Emperor right now. He didn't go for a bigger board, so it means we don't need to super respect uh, the situation. Even if he hits Jace, it's not, you know, not a biggie. He can draw a card, but we can absolutely just outvalue him. And that's one of the few hits for Stroke, so let's use it. It makes things easier for us. 3, 6, so... It's tapped, right? Tapped. Ratadrabic. We could counter it, but we don't need to. Like, we will throw it. This is the turning point. He's out of the cards, so it means he has no plan after this. He's attacking with two, he wants the thing. And I mean, let's go with the Emperor. And save some loyalty. 
And after a fair while he will scoop and that will be the game. So, I mean, a run breaker is cool, but as you can see, it doesn't really contribute to the whole thing. At least not, not here. We won by Jace and Emperor. So, let's go like this. And as you can see, he's out on the draw. With Sunset Reverie, Rain Rainbreaker will be pretty good here. Because we definitely need to answer, right? Esper. However, we are on the draw, which is bad. I mean, it's not the worst because they have less cards, but at the same time, uh, I cannot draw with Reverie. And if I play the Rainbreaker, it just eats counter spell. Uh, because for 3 mana, they definitely have one. Rainbreaker is really strong. One of the prime matchups for this one. Uh, let's try to go with Jace then. Yeah, let's try Jace. It will get countered, there's no way it goes through. But we need to get rid of them. Alright, that's an important information. They don't have Make Disappears in hand. Here's Mem. Oh, never mind, they have Make Disappears in hand. However, we will be able to resolve a Realm Breaker, which means that they need to play much more aggressively. And we have a Sunset River and a Sunfall. So, I mean, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Realm Breaker. Just breaking the meta. Alright, I could draw cards, but I probably won the Devious cover up. I think we are really losing right now super hard. <laughs> Uh, for f finally we are doing our reveries. Uh, let's go like this. I just want to cycle cards, of course. Alright, this is a card. This is a big card. Interceptor. Just trying to pressure us. Alright, I like the card. That's a pretty cool card. We could go for Memory Delush. Then they play what? Emperor? You know what? Uh, we can do it right now. Jace is pretty good against what he has. Oh boy, all of the cards are really good against him. But we need some win con. Let's go like this. Just pure value. I'm sad we didn't hit a counter spell. You are here. Somewhere. And they're trying to be aggressive, but I'm not sure if that will work against us. I think we'll just play a dance step. We have a count. Yeah, I think we should be able to win this. We can use Fateful Absence on this, but I probably don't want to. Oh boy. He really needs those cards. So if I go Devious Cover Up, I don't play anything else, which is unfortunate. I could go for a Huge Deluge. Two cards. Then he plays Memory Delush faster. I don't have anything great to cycle into the deck yet. Alright, you got it. That was a hard tell. Or hard sell, should I say. Six mana, sure. So first it will be Memory Delush, I think. And we'll see if it resolves. Of course, a dance step. We don't have counter spell, but maybe we can hit Emperor with Fateful Absence or something. We'll see. Obscure Interceptor. That's fine. I think we, we sun for right now. Let's see. Very, very greedy deck so far. I have 5 mana, so I'm sure I can resolve it, right? Unless he has exactly negate. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Consider me curious. Will it go through? I cannot counter because I have 4 mana counter spell. Let's see. Uh, he needs exactly negate or stroke maybe, but it's not a very popular choice, so usually it's just negate. And they used one already. You generally don't play more than one most of the time. Alright, goes through. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I think we just wait and pretend we have a counter spell. So hopefully we can survive this one turn and untap with uh, Divis cover up. 
for this re so if I press this button, I untap and I have a counter spell. If I activate it, he casts Memory Delusion, and there's nothing I can do about it. So we are going this way. Let's play the Jace, full mana. I could go for loyalty discount. All right, sure. You know, it's scary, but not the worst. And we still have our counter spell. Let's see if they cast something. Memory of the Rush would be perfect because this will get it exiled. And he had one spare mana, so no counter spells. All right. I don't want to cast Memorders because it's a really strong card and I don't want it countered. Alright. With Emperor we can start providing a lot of pressure. I don't want to tap because then he will just resolve his spells and it's hard to beat this value overall. That's one of the problems with 4 mana counter spells. They're really high value but they're clunky. Alright, and let's force him. To do something. You should definitely wait until we activate it, but I don't mind it. So now the deluge is off the table, at least the big one. And I think I think we'll go with just the token. They don't know we have the views cover up, so probably they won't go for the for the thing. Let's attack first. See what we get. I might have another Void Rand. Let's try the Arm Breaker. I really would love to get some value from this. And we still have a counter spell into the Arm Breaker, so, you know, more stuff going into our direction. <laughs> Instant Void Rand. Alright, we will still force him. He might get Memory Delush on the graveyard, but that's the risk I'm willing to take. Devious cover up in the third void, and I think they don't play more. And here's the swamp. Some crazy rain breaker value right there. <laughs> oh man, I feel that we're winning right now. Alright, so what our opponent is doing? Nothing much. Let's attack. And see if there's reaction. We definitely need to counter this. We play the land. I think this is a good moment to do it. It forces some reaction. Oh, I like it. Alright, so keep let's keep the cover up. Uh, what are the cards? Like we have a lot of good targets. There are not counter spells which I would prefer, but it's good enough. Oh boy. I think I will counter it. <laughs> I think I will counter it. First the Jace, sis, and then I guess the Ram Breaker. I hope it won't get countered, because it might be not great for us. Alright, that was enough. That was enough. But, yeah, if, if he had negate on top of this, uh, we could be in some serious trouble. Alright, it seems that on the draw is our new self, so let's adjust. Extremely bad hand. Extremely bad hand. Let's take it. Uh, mountain? Of course. What a great game. I just played Monoret. If you're on the draw with this hand, you lost. And that's why the deck is so great. That's the third game in a row on the draw. Seems perfect. <laughs> and it's also third game in a row against Ma uh, Mountain. All, I've, uh, all I'm playing right now is this. Uh, three games, exactly same situation, every single time on the draw. And we also miss the, the mana, which is absolutely insane. So, uh, because we don't have white, we cannot use our Elspeth Smite. You could think that like 14 white sources is enough, but it's not. And because we are on the draw, we will lose this game, whatever we do. So yeah, happy testing. <laughs> happy testing of deck. Oh my god, that's that's so great. I'm so happy I have those Realm Breakers, man. Oh, they contribute so much to being on the draw against Monoret. And this is, the, this is why I don't like the card usually. Uh, all that happens is you are getting matched with Monoret, and you feel silly because you basically pay 5 mana for a single ramp, which Celestus does better. So yeah, uh, and wow, what a great gameplay. So as you can see, that was the third game exactly like this in a row. Uh, I never played anything else except Monoret here. Alright, we're on the play. 
which is pretty good, especially with Sunset Reverie. Uh, let's start with this one, of course. This way we can play it on curve. Number Faithful Absence, not really what we need. Oh boy, we will get the full value. This is what I'm talking about. Like, look how insane Sunset Reverie on the play is. Not only you have more tempo, but you also have kinda more cards. So you just have everything, man. All right, all right. This will be a little bit rough. Ah, oh, we need to kill Scryer first. <laughs> That's annoying. Uh, and the first strike definitely won't help. And there's no way he will be attacking into us, so... Oh! I just realized I'm ranked. Why? <laughs> I thought I man. That explains aggro. Alright, uh, sure. Let's see. I was sure I'm unranked and then... Why, why do you have a rank here? Why do I have a rank? And there was this moment of realization of... Oops! Alright. We cannot block, we take the damage. On the bright side, we're forever. And on the play, we have a lot of options. Uh, the most desperate play would be to kill my own staff and draw a card. <laughs> but <laughs> I really hope we don't need to do this. Here's a lot of stuff. It's not a human, but we already know what he's playing. Alright. Will be rough. Will be rough. Perfect. Mana Scroot. <laughs> Absolutely. Mana Scroot against Talia is always the pure pleasure of life. And probably with this land drop that we missed, we lost the game. I think that's it. Uh, but, you know, let's try. Let's try to play the... Uh, yeah, alright. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Uh, Scarf into Talia is the most ridiculous opening usually ever. Because not only you get tax, but your cards don't work, so you really are super behind. It basically trades you two turns, two turns behind. I cannot kill Talia even, man. However, I think he has something and he will use it, but I don't have a choice. Like, I'm losing otherwise. First strike. Hurts. I mean, this way, maybe? If I hit a land, there is a chance. Extraction Specialist, however... However... You gave me a moment that I can just... Oh, right. <laughs> he just gets back Talia. Oh, boy. So good. Yeah, I, I guess whatever we do, it just doesn't matter. So the best play I can make is to pay some life. Or just draw a card with Silver Scrutiny. I will probably die. It's what? 5, 7, 9 damage already. Talia feels always amazing. Uh, we cannot draw cards, so we need to gamble the whole game. Uh, that's the biggest damage mitigation we can make. This basically absorbs 7 damage for 2 life. But you won't beat missing your land drops with this one. And we cannot sample. Alright, he's going for this line of play. And it worked. Wow, I'm so happy I hit the Ram Breaker. There's no way to win. Like, if you miss two land drops, that's a you're out. Oh, our opponent does already is using Mirex, so this will be scary. We really need the, the Emperor very quickly, because this will ramp the pressure very, very quickly. Uh, remember, the, like, we are doing good cards. A bit of a whiff turn. We don't have any of our three drops. Alright, and now we go. I think we counter the Emperor, honestly. It's not the best counter spell of my life, but this is something we kinda have to do. Otherwise, if we play our Emperor, it's just dead all around. If you have make the superior good at magic. I already have feeling of conceding. Man, he he's he's always having what he has. So with Celestus we are super super not happy with the situation. Alright. It's night time, so at least we get we there will be no more triggers for now. But definitely not looking super hot right now. Man, I really risk with this Jace and we freaking lost. 
I really expected that he probably should whiff at something, right? He didn't have... Like, look at this guy going. All stuff. Rambreaker. This one time. Be useful. <laughs> wow. So good at magic. Alright, I mean, great. Let's see if he has also memory rush to refill instantly after it. Good call. He can cycle a lot of cards, so that will help him a ton. Uh, it will also tap him out a little bit, but that's worth it for him. I mean, let's roll the dice. Alright, stroke and land. That's the best we can hope for. So one spell. I did it right now because I don't want him to draw a, a spell. Because when he starts stacking those Celestus triggers, like, it will go wild. Uh, might is not scary yet, but it will be. We need to catch something huge with a counter spell. Yeah, Emperor is one of those things. Oh my god, he has another one? Wow. So good. He's down to one card, but he already got everything he wanted. We also need to start playing main phase, which is not great. That's definitely not what we want, but it is what it is. And we need to go like this. So, what is the play? Is this a ram breaker? I mean, we have it in the deck. We have to finally use it. <laughs> oh boy. Like, I wanted to concede like five times already after those counter spells, but we are still in the game. We are still in the game. I think he should just go white and force a sweeper, in all honesty. The damage should probably not matter super much. Alright, if he plays a spell, he doesn't switch. Oh man, it's silver scrutiny, are you serious? This is your draw? Invasion of Archives, alright, sure. A bit scary, but I don't mind it. Devious cover up. So we probably need to dissipate right now. Alright, he will try to flip it. Uh, if he plays. Oh, he didn't tap for Mirex. That's that's wild. I think he had the mana. Right? Little did he know. We are fully equipped against aggro decks. And this will come handy a little bit. So it negates a lot of pressure, it's not over, but we kind of want to slow the game, right? That's our idea. He really wants to get those counter spells back. Yeah, let's start milling him. Oh boy, we have a lot of work to do and we just gave him the card. Cool. <laughs> Great. He didn't cast it, I thought he will cast it right now. So, Rambreaker so far, helping our opponent more than us. <laughs> like, no joke, man. Alright, we say go. Because right now we need to be ready to counter what we gave him. Uh, he won't have enough mana for everything. Do I care about this little might? Not really. Not really. It might actually help us to ramp a little bit. Let's go for blue mana. That's the scary color. So now we can go for a single point of mana. And basically get the land. So that kinda helped us. He's going for Mirex. Sure. Man, we are really giving him all the value he wants. Uh, let's go for Field of Ruin, I guess. It's tapped, so we cannot use it yet. This makes Make Disappear weaker. For 7. He can go for Dissipate. Alright, we'll try to use it in the end step. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Man, Run Breaker is actually helping him more than he helps us. Uh, this is some Wincom, but so far, like, we are giving him Memory Deluge every turn. He's going for the face. 
All right, I, right now minus one is not perfect for, for him. And let's keep the counter spell. I think it might be useful, especially if they super tap. All right, they really want to counter it. Sure. All right, so I think we go with dissipate now. And let's see if the last card is also a counter spell. Extremely greedy version so far. Oh man. Uh, what are. Yeah. Soul Partition? That's weird. See? Let's counter it. Especially that we play a dance step. Uh, he has something, but. It might be Mirex. Alright. <laughs> I mean, Rhyme Breakers are trying their best. Let's get Field of Ruin. This way he needs to start using stuff. Alright. Which in turn means that we can start Sun Falling them pretty nicely. I could also go for Double Dice. And now is the question, would he, would he counter my Dissipate if he could? I think he would, I think he would. All right, let's roll the dice. And we won. <laughs> All right, he tapped Mirax and now we know that there's nothing at instant speed. And yeah, man. Runbreaker, I guess it contributed a little bit because we wouldn't be able... All right, it's Siphon inside. I got scared that he has priority and I was like, is that a stroke or Airtight Scorn or something that didn't trigger before? All right, we managed to win this, but man, it was awkward, super hard.